Hey, Donald here with Floating Feathers Kayak Fly Fishing School, uh, and this tips and tricks is on uh, apps or phone apps that I use uh, when going kayaking or kayak fly fishing or uh, figuring out whether or not to go kayak fly fishing. So the first one I show is the Coast Guard app up here in the top left hand corner. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're going to click on that. It's a lot of stuff you can go here. It's got uh, uh, nine things here, and if you look at the bottom, it's an emergency assistance button. Um, that is the button you call, I mean, excuse me, that you press, and your phone will automatically uh, uh, contact the United States Coast Guard, give them all of your information uh, based on your GPS location, and they will send somebody to come find you. So if you push that emergency assistance button, the U.S. Coast Guard is coming. So be careful not to hit the little red, or the big red bar at the bottom. So we're going to start at the top here <clears throat> uh, in the top left hand corner where it says state boating information. Um, you can click on that. You can select your state and you can figure out uh, all the boating information that might be pertinent to your state. Um, the next one is a safety check. You can fill out this information um, and the member of the Coast Guard Auxiliary will come out and do an inspection on your kayak. Uh, the third one is the uh, review safety equipment. So you can figure out what length, uh, propulsion type, all that. And fill all that out. It will tell you what safety equipment you need uh, as far as U.S. Coast Guard goes. Uh, the next one, a uh, middle row to the left, is a file, a float plan. This is one of my favorite uh, features of this app. Uh, it, it lets you file a float plan. Uh, uh, all kinds of great details. Um, you can tell your float plan name, the vessel. Um, you can you can go to all kinds of different aspects of that float plan. You can store float plans to review them later, and then uh, if you're going to do the same float plan, you can just copy and paste that kind of information. Uh, the next is the rules of the road. So um, what you need to know if you're taking, you know, if if you're if you're putting a motor on your kayak or you're going in the area you're not familiar with, you can look at this section to figure out what the signs mean, what are the rules, um, how to pass or overtake a boat, um, who has the right of way, all that. It's great, great little um, piece of information. Next one is NOAA buoys. NOAA buoys. Um, so if you're in or around uh, saltwater, this is a great little thing to look at. Um, it gives you a lot of information. You can actually click on the, uh, excuse me, I went all the way out of there. You can click on the buoy. Um, and it'll give you information. It's really, really nice. It'll give you the closest buoy, all that great information. The next one is a report hazard. Um, and the report hazard, you can fill out your name, your phone, hazard type. Um, it's great if you're looking at uh, river fishing or coastal fishing. It's uh, all kinds of stuff. You can report pollution here. Um, gives you your current location. Um, you call them, tell them your current location. You can find out. You can report oil, chemical, radiological, uh, biological, uh, all kinds of different incidences, and then report suspicious activity. Again, if you look right here, it gives you latitude and longitude. So you can call them. You can give that uh, and report some some uh, bad mojo going on. So, <clears throat> excuse me, that is the Coast Guard app. The next one is a Go Paddling app. And the Go Paddling app, it'll always tell you to wear your life jacket, so we will wear that. Um, and the Go Paddling app uh, gives you a lot of great information about uh, kayak launch points and boat ramps and um, information on um, uh, where you can launch, uh, the type of launch conditions, things like that. So it's a really, really great resource. If you're, if you're in a new area, if you want to explore a new area, um, that app, Go Paddling there, is a, a fantastic app. Um, the next app I want to look at is called is Fishing and Hunting. Um, I know this is available for the Apple. I'm not sure if it's available for Android. But this one gives me uh, best fishing times. It gives me um, sunrise, sunset, uh, moon sets. It gives me uh, uh, the, all kinds of nice little information of, of when the best times to fish is. And as you see today, is a 41% chance of catching fish. So it's not the greatest. Um, but it gives you tides. It gives you places. It gives you weather. Um, it gives you all kinds of nice little um, bits and pieces of information that you can use uh, to figure out whether you want to go fishing. Or if you're exploring a new area, you can actually uh, locate it on the map. Nautide, um, available for Apple. I'm not sure if it's available for Android. But this is, a, this is one of my favorite apps. Um, it has... This is an overall view, so it gives you lunar activity, fish activity, tidal coefficients, um, rainfall chances, uh, hour by hour, minute by minute. Um, it also gives a bunch of uh, tabs up here at the top, so it gives me tide when it's a high tide, low tide, 
uh, slack tide. It gives you the, the difference in tides, all the tidal coefficients. Tells you how the sun's going to be affecting you today. Uh, moon phases, uh, activity, and activity refers to fishing activity. So um, as you can see here, it goes from low activity is nothing to very high activity is three fishes. Um, and it'll tell you uh, when the best times of the day to go fishing is. Barometer, uh, the barometer gives you some uh, readout hour by hour. So when the barometer is rising, falling, everything else. Um, surf conditions, so if you're like me, you're near the coast um, and you want to go uh, inshore fishing or something, this is really nice to know how how high the waves are, um, wind at speed, wind speed at land, wind speed at um, sea, um, gives you 12 knots. You can help, you can know all this in measurement called Beaufort, knots, feet per second, uh, or miles per hour so that gives you a wind um, and then of course weather um, gives you a nice little weather look at marine forecast um, so that gives you an hour by hour with temperatures humidity rain um, and then uh, water temperature you can see right there is 79 degrees at fort morgan today um, and then probability uh, and that's kind of your forecast of rain and again that's hour by hour and that app is called not tide not tide uh, another one is called life 360 um, Life 360 is great because you, you can um, connect it to anybody in your household to find out where they've been, what they're doing, but it works really well for you. You can look at your own profile and you can actually get um, like how you've been uh, driving or paddling or um, anything like that. Um, see, trying to find where we paddle, where we rode our bikes the other day and I do not see it. Um, well, that's when I went fishing the other day. Um, just a nice little, little walk around the neighborhood. So it, it actually tracks you when you're walking, driving, bicycling, or in the kayak. Um, the last one I want to show you is one that I just looked at today. It's called Kayak Adventure. And Kayak Adventure um, is a newer app. Um, and it it is very similar to um, Go Paddling in the fact that it does list boat ramps and um, kayak launches and things like that. But what this allows that... Um, Go paddling does not is you can list hazards um, and uh, things like uh, strainers in the river if you're going river fishing, things like that. Um, you can find out if you want to find out what's near you. Um, you can go zoom into the map. You can select these little things of boat ramps, uh, hazards, um, anything like that. Uh, it's it's a really great thing to look at. Uh, it, you can do strainers. You can do hazard stuff. You can do um, anything that's reported on here um, other than boat ramps um, and uh, boat launches, portages, things like that are permanent. But things like strainers, um, these little, um, these little, like if I wanted to add a, um, uh, a pin, I can drop a pin anywhere and I can say that there's a strainer there on the river. Or like there's a tree underneath the water. You know, you got to watch your back. Any pin like that gets... Uh, removed every seven days so it's very up to date and that's what i really like about that one is every seven days those pins drop off and new pins come up so um, if you're out there and as long as you and anybody can join this um, it's free um, for users um, and then it's what it's also great is this little button right here that shows nothing in my area it's these two guys shaking hands or two people shaking hands over in the top right uh, that's actually where you can rent, like a rental agreement. So right now there's nothing in my area because I haven't updated it, um, but it shows you rental places. So if you're going to check out a new place, like you want to go down to, say, Panama City Beach, and you want to see who rents kayaks, you can hit that. Um, or if you find some place in Panama City Beach and you know they rent kayaks, you can add that pin there so that next time somebody else goes down there, they have that information. And those will actually stay on there permanently. Um, the boat ramps stay on there permanently, the portages stay on there permanently, but the hazards come uh, remove every seven days because hazards sometimes go and uh, are, are, are disappearing. So um, that's the great thing about that app. And that is so it's Kayak Venture, um, the Life 360, Knot Tide, Fishing and Hunting app, Go Paddling, and the Coast Guard app. So uh, <clears throat> thank you uh, for watching this one. This was the Tips and Tricks, probably my longest tips and tricks. Um, but that is kind of what I want to show you on the apps that I use to figure out. Uh, where I want to go, um, what do I need to take with me, and is it safe to go uh, kayak fly fishing? So thank you all for watching. Um, please let us know if you have any comments or questions below, and uh, hit that submit button if you will. Thank you all very, very much.